1969 Australian Grand Prix from Lakeside Circuit, headquarters of the Queensland Motor Sporting Club at Petrie in South East Queensland. And it's a fine day with beautiful bright sunshine and conditions almost perfect for this 1969 Classic. The 15 starters are on the grid and with me this afternoon is New Zealander Bill Bryce. We'll take you through the grid prior to the start of the 1969 Australian Grand Prix. And what a field it is indeed. We've got on pole position this year for the Australian Grand Prix and incidentally this is round number nine in the Tasman Cup series. We've got the, the Tasman Cup leader so far, Chris Amon, who qualified in, in 52.3 over 103 miles per hour average. And there he is in the Ferrari and he is on pole position. Alongside of him on the grid will be the Englishman, 26-year-old Lundner, ex Antonian T.S. Courage in Brabham. And then we come back onto the second row of the grid. And on the inside, oh, that's Derek Bell. He's the uh, third fastest, but alongside of him is the 1968 world champion in his Lotus. We're getting a little bit of work. The Lotus team have had a very, very rough trip so far across from New Zealand. And Hill's car still getting attention from the mechanics. With his nose, you can just see car number six is Frank Gardner. He's alongside of Jochen Rindt, and they're on the third row of the grid. There's Jochen Rindt, the Austrian. He's just joined the Lotus team, and you can see the high winging on the Lotus. It's the Lotus 49B. We move on to the fourth row of the grid, and behind them we have um, Leah Gagan in car number seven, one of the fastest of the resident drivers. And then alongside of him is his uh, main opposition, I think, as far as the Australian side is concerned, 